Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyree and I'm here with another video. So in today's video, if you cannot tell by the title, I'm actually going to be showing you guys my furniture that I just got in last week. It's not exactly an apartment tour and I didn't feel like doing an apartment tour, although I am in a newer one than my last one because it's the same exact layout as my other apartment complex. So I just don't want to feel like I'm repeating myself. Um, I also have a link below to my last apartment tour that I did a couple years ago. Um, but if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for coming to watch this video. And thank you guys, uh, the ones that's been subscribed to me since who knows when. I really appreciate you guys. If you guys want to see all of the furniture that I got, definitely stay tuned. Okay, so the first part we're going to start with is the most obvious in my living room which is this beautiful sofa that I got from Wayfair it's like a royal blue suede tufted modern sofa and I do have the link below in the description box for you guys but this was uh, my very first purchase it was the very first thing that I had my eye on when I was deciding what to put into um, my living room and just the biggest piece of furniture that um, I had my eye on so I went off of this couch to determine like everything else that I wanted to be in my living room such as like the side table, um, the coffee table if I was to get one or another like chair. I started with this. I love this couch. It was a hit on Facebook. I've never gotten so many compliments on any of the pictures I've ever uploaded on Facebook but the minute I uploaded this couch my comments and the likes were going crazy so I'm going to insert a picture that I uploaded on Facebook. But um the couch is actually coming up a little bit darker on camera than what its true color really is like in person. I got this little gold accented side table from Ross and it was I think $39.99. So Ross, you never know what you're going to get when you go into a store like Ross or Marshalls etc. So I won't have a link for these particular items but this is a new item that I have. And um, on top of it, I just have a plant. I got that from the clearance section of Marshall's. It was about $8, I believe. Also on the side, I have these little coasters. And they also have like a little gold foil accent to the side of them. It's three of them, in case you can't tell. Um, but they are concrete and um, marble on the top. Um, I think they were $2.99 each from Marshall's. So... Yeah, those are the pieces that I decided to get to complement the the side table as well as the couch. Um, this picture is actually the picture itself is a it's an old picture that I had in my old apartment, but I just changed the frame. I went to Goodwill and got this three dollar black brownish type of frame, and I um, put the picture inside of it because I thought that the frame was better than having a gold frame. I didn't want too much gold in my living room I wanted it to still have like a little classy look so I wanted to change the frame this is a $13 lamp that I got from Walmart um, it's over there in the section where you would see the $7 lamps that they have but um, I was gonna get a $7 lamp but then I saw like this one how it has like a little cute simple design and I felt like um, it would still bring about a look that I was going for. I didn't want to get like something super expensive from like Wayfair or nothing. I just thought that this would still do my living room justice. Um, I'm going to go over to this little centerpiece. This is actually a stool. And this is something I had in my last apartment. And I didn't want to get rid of it just yet. But I also didn't know what I wanted to do with it. And since I decided I didn't want a coffee table, um, I still felt like it would still make a great centerpiece. So I stuck it in the middle. Um, I got this from Ross. It was about 30 something dollars as well. Um, and then on top of it, I stuck a serving tray on it that I got from Ross and that was about $10. And then I just filled it in with a plant that I got from, this is a fake plant. Um, I got it from Target. It was $14. Then I got like this little cute concrete light bulb little thing that I got from Primark in Barcelona. And then I have this candle that I got from Kohl's that was like 10 bucks so yeah I just wanted to have like a little chill cute vibe and then I have this really pretty rug it's a simple rug and I got it from Ross 
I wanted something that would stand out a little bit but not be too much um, and I wanted it to be a different texture and material outside of the carpet that's already installed in the apartment so this is $15 from Ross and I felt like it was a steal um, I have seen this on Pinterest a lot um, especially it'll be like gold with the white seating but I chose to get the silver one with the black um, again because I didn't want too much gold sometimes I can overdo it and I just didn't want to overdo it that much um, so yeah I got this chair I did put a link below for it in the description box I got it from Wayfair um, the little pillow is the pillow that I had in my last apartment and this came from the clearance section at Burlington Coat Factory and it was like four dollars for that little pillow so I just stuck it there because I felt like it was a cute a little cute item just to sit on the chair um, this little gold piece is I don't know how to describe it but it was like something random that I got from um, Ross it was like $20 and then I just stuck my telephone on it I've always had this telephone since I was in college so close to like 10 years ago is when I purchased this from eBay it was like $20 I just wanted like an old-fashioned phone and I just kind of always kept it because I feel like it's old-fashioned so the older it gets it still goes with whatever vibe next in this section this is actually a vintage laundry basket because this unit that I'm in has a washer and dryer so I actually got this more for aesthetics I didn't really get it to actually use it um, I did dump some clothes in it earlier when I needed somewhere to put them but um, I do have a link below in the description box as well as other links for ones that I was looking at on Wayfair and then I just have a random plant over there I believe the vase is from Ross um, the flowers itself came from Ikea um, this is also another item that I got from Wayfair it's a cute plant and I have the link below it was about 30 something dollars but I always wanted like a nice cute like large fake plant to put in my living room just to have like a nice like little cozy well it's not a cozy vibe but it's like a spa look is what I was going for We're having like a lot of green and all that stuff um, as far as like plants so um, yeah I found that one and I felt like it went great with what I was looking for this little shelving unit I got from Ikea I believe it was hundred and thirty something dollars so I'm gonna try to find a link um, of it or something close to it and put it down below for you guys and that just kind of filled it in with stuff I've had over time I got all of the this stuff from like either Marshalls Ross or Ikea itself like the lantern down there at the bottom came from Ikea um, and so did the basket so those are things I grabbed from Ikea and then like the rest of the stuff is just like picture frames and candles and all that good stuff that you can find at Ross um, and then I set my TV on top of it then here on the side I have this vintage looking um, fan I actually got this from Marshalls and it's like a gold brassy color it was $25 and I just thought it was really cute it'll be great to have definitely utilize in the spring and summer when it's like a little bit hot sometimes when I have the AC on I get too cold so it'll be nice to just have something blowing and then you can see that's the knob basically to turn it on and to turn it off so I love how old-fashioned it is and I just kind of keep it right there off to the side all right so when you walk into the kitchen I'm just gonna start with whatever I see first um, so right here in this little corner of my counter, I got another plant that I got from Marshalls. And then I got this little plate. I think it came from Burlington Co. Factory. And I just kind of throw my keys on it. It's my car keys and my mailbox key. Um, I think the plant was $8 and then the plate was like $2. Um, I got this rack, this drying off rack. I got that from Ikea. It was $8. And that's what I like about Ikea is like it's super, super cheap but like the stuff really still holds value I have a vintage teapot that's what I call it it's a vintage teapot but I got it from Marshalls I actually got it for Christmas my mom got it from Marshalls it was $25 um, this little random thing I had that I think I got it from Burlington Co factory because I wasn't sure like I liked it but I didn't know like how I wanted to use it so it only made sense for me to put my teapot on it um, not when it's hot but like um, just a place to store my teapot instead of having it on the burners then this right here is a lazy Susan that was $12 I got it from Marshall's so you can find it over in the sections where they have 
um, like the pots and plastic containers and stuff like that for the refrigerators. You can find those over there. Ikea also has them, but they have, it's more of um, like a wood type of um, Lazy Susan, but this one's a marble one. So, yes. Um, just some random like dishware that I got from Walmart. I wanted to just be super super simple, so I just got like glassware, um, like glass bowls and glass plates and cups as well. Just some really simple glassware or dinnerware, whatever you want to call that, um, and then. I'll just talk about the dining area. The dining area had this table in my very last apartment. It actually came from a random store that's in Wilmington, Delaware. So I will not actually have a link for this because it's a super random small furniture store. Um, but I just kept it instead of getting a new dining table, although I did want a smaller one. But I'm trying to learn how to appreciate this one and actually eat at it because I actually haven't eaten at it before. Alright, so you come into my room. I hope the lighting is good um, in this video. I apologize if it's not. Um, but you come into this room and I have this white dresser that I got from Kohl's. And I've had that in my last apartment as well. On top of it, I stored... Well... No, on top of it, I placed this um, this lamp that I got from Home Goods. It was twenty five dollars. I actually, I think it was on clearance too. It was on clearance for twenty five dollars. Um, so yeah, it's just a seven drawer dresser. On the side of it, I have a clothing rack that I got from Ikea. The clothing rack itself was nine dollars. It's a very simple one. They also have a twelve dollar one, which is a little tiny bigger. But I just wanted something really super simple. And then the hangers are wooden hangers that I also got from Ikea. It comes with eight, and I believe it's like $3.99 for all eight of them. So, I, yeah, I just got one pack and stuck them on the clothing rack. Then I got the ever-popular full-length mirror from Ikea. This is the $49 one or so. I didn't want to get the bigger one. I just felt like this one was perfect. Um, so, yeah, this is a white one, and I stuck it in the corner over there. And I got this fur runner. It's super long. Um, I got that from Ross. It was $15. Um, this basket right here, this is actually from Marshalls. It was in the clearance section for $4. And just because it was $4, I grabbed it. I have no idea what I would want to use it for. But it's also cute for aesthetics. <laughs> and then I'm going to go over here and talk about my nightstand. Or I would call it a side table. But this was actually from Ikea. I did have it in my last apartment. And it was actually a teal color. And I spray painted it white. So I wanted it to match the decor of my room. So I spray painted it white. And you can't even tell that it was actually a different color. Um, on top of it, I have like an old-fashioned clock that I got from London Primark. Um, another candle that I got from the Barcelona Primark. This plant is also fake, and it was $8 from the Marshalls clearance section. Behind it, I have this charging device that I got from Amazon. It charges your Apple products, such as like your watch, and um, any devices that have that new lightning charger part. So right now, I'm charging my AirPods. Yeah, I got the, the and I have that link below just in case, because that thing is really clutch, and it was like $20. So shout out to my girl, Allie, because she put me on to it. And then I'll just talk about my bed. I'm going to back up so you guys can see it. It's the queen, and I also have the frame. I got the frame from Wayfair, so I do have that in the link. I'm sorry, in the description box below. And I also got the memory foam mattress. It's an 8-inch memory foam mattress. I also have that link below in the description box. That also came from Wayfair. My sheets are from, they're satin, they're from Ross. This is a vanity that... Um, I've had since my last apartment and this also came from that little tiny store that was in Delaware that I got my dining table from and I think my vanity was 80 bucks I do remember that it was like 85 and um, the older it gets it's also to me it just becomes a little bit more vintage so I haven't although I've had it for like close to five years I haven't decided to get rid of it because I kind of want to keep it and I want it to like kind of look older I just love a vintage look to it 
Um, and then I just stacked some things on top of it, like a perfume tray, um, a makeup mirror, a little lamp. I also have this pretty shelving unit or whatever you want to call it. It's a shelf with a mirrored background and I got it for $10 from Ross. The candles are about $6 each and I got those from Ross as well. So I did have this in my last apartment and I um, still wanted to keep it so I just stuck it right here by the door. Okay, here we are in the bathroom. I have a gray curtain that I got from Walmart. I think it was like $10 or so. Then I got like this little shelf unit. I just wanted something that I can stack my basket of tissue on. Um, I thought that this was perfect. I think it was close to $20 from Walmart as well. Um, the basket was $7 from Ross. And then I just have like another perfume tray that I stuck my Everyday Beauty Care on. So I have some things that I grabbed from Ross like this 24 karat gold face mask. Um, this is like a rose like a rose body oil that you can drop into your bubble baths or you can put it directly on your skin and then of course like some toner and some other beauty care um, and just like some random stuff that I got from Burlington and then I got this like little towel thing this is a Pinterest idea um, I got that idea from Pinterest and I did that with my towels and um, I got this Laura Mercier bubble bath it's actually an almond coconut milk honey bubble bath and it comes with a honey wand stick and I've used this maybe like three times so far and I love it it's pretty good for the skin then I have like a little um, rug here I think I got that from Walmart as well so that was probably like seven dollars um, then I just stuck some tissue on here and then my toothbrush and a little soap dispenser um, and another plant from Ikea which was a dollar and yeah you pretty much just call it a day so that's the bathroom. Alright so that wraps up my furniture tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, seeing all of the stuff that I stacked into my new apartment. Yeah I just wanted to do that because a lot of people was asking me about my furniture pieces and I felt like this would make a good video like to answer everybody's questions and all that stuff and I also gave you guys the link in case you were inspired by any of these pieces this is not a sponsored video I just wanted to do it for you guys so I hope that you enjoyed please don't forget to like comment and subscribe I really appreciate you guys and your support it's so fun having a channel so I do this for fun so yeah if you like the video make sure you thumbs it up all right and I'll catch you guys in another video bye